Hi guys, it's Legend of All 101 here once again, bringing you a season 4 review of Cobra Kai! Never died! <laughs> My gosh, this season was incredible. This was awesome. This was outstanding. This was 10 out of 10. A plus. Perfect. Perfect. My gosh, the stuff, the storylines, yo, from the fight scenes, the directing, the script, the cinematography. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is a perfect season, bro. It's a perfect season. No, no cap, no doubt in my mind. This is a perfect season. So, as everyone knows, Terry Silver is back. It's not a secret at the point is there were trailers everywhere for Terry Silver coming back into this show. Or well, this franchise, I should say. The Karate Kid franchise, Cobra Kai based TV show. It's lit, bro. This is good. This is <laughs> you had Cobra Kai. Got the three main groups now. Cobra Kai, Miyagi Do, and Eagle Fang now. So Eagle Fang, Johnny, Miyagi Do, Daniel, Cobra Kai. Terry Silver and John Kreese at this point. So, but I'm trying to start out with Terry Silver because Terry is a rich guy at this point. Uh, he's got his own business. Um, he's literally left that karate life behind. Um, you know what I'm saying? Went to war with Kreese years ago. He's like, he's still got the memories of the war. In his head, as you see throughout the show, when John Kreese brings up the old dirt, you know what I'm saying, to kind of control him, to kind of coax him back to the fold of Cobra Kai, and they show flashes of like his psychoness. <laughs> I always call I call them um, Terry Silver when me and my family is watching it. I call him the American Psycho, Christian Bell status. Basically, he was you know, karate kid. He was trained Daniel and just like turning him crazy. I loved it, showing that aggression. Because uh, literally, John Kreese keeps ringing him at the start of the show. Terry's just like, nah, I'm taking him calls, playing his piano, just uh, having his parties at his house. John Kreese just had enough of that, rocked up to his house and was like, hey, Terry, what are you doing? Just to see what he was up to. Like, he was like, what are you having these dinner parties? With these stuck up people. Where's your edge, basically? You know what I'm saying? He's gone, he said he's gone soft. So then Terry starts to slowly creep back into Cobra Kai, you know what I'm saying, to, to see uh, Crease and slowly get back his edge, you know what I'm saying, started drinking a little bit, started to, you know, he started to go back into his old happy habits, old ways, you know, <laughs> and on the other side, he got Daniel and Johnny biting heads as co-captains of Miyagi-Do, Eagle Fang, you know, you know how it's going to go. Hawk is having trouble integrating into this new, um, newly formed duo, this tag team of, of groups. Um, obviously, because of the stuff that he's done in the past, in the previous seasons, just like kicking people's asses for most of them. Um, Sam's still got beef with Tori, after what Tori did to her, you know what I'm saying? Previous seasons. Um, Sam is just ruthless this season. <laughs> I love Sam. Yeah, Sam is Sam is still title. She has that title streak too, but she's she's come a long way. I got to admit, Sam has come a long way. She's much better in this season than pre previous seasons to me. She's like the best in this season. This is Sam's. This is Sam's season. In terms of character development, for sure. Um, Miguel. <laughs> Miguel, man. Oh, Miguel. To be honest, Miguel wasn't, wasn't doing too much this season. To be honest. He was kind of there. He obviously, Miguel, still my boy. Don't get it twisted. He's still my boy. But he didn't do as much as previous seasons. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like getting to a lot of storylines. It was kind of just um, around becoming the, the Daniel 2.0, basically. He started just mellowing out, having fun, just chilling out mostly. Um, train, helping train the younger generation of Eagle Fang, you know. Um, going out with Sam, 
kind of <laughs> Russo kind of took him under his wing and John Johnny did not like that at all Johnny was like what the heck are you doing with my student giving him the Miyagi headband and everything Johnny was like nah this ain't happening fam. this ain't happening fam get the heck <laughs> you know what I mean he felt slighted he felt hey you're taking my son away from me what the heck is going on because Robbie is literally on the Cobra Kai's team at this point he's with Terry and Kreese Robbie literally trains up a new kid that people will be hyping up and, uh, before the show even started before I watched it before I should say before I watched the show the season people were saying hey watch out for this kid called Kenny watch out for this kid called Kenny Payne and I was like oh snap who's Kenny Payne so the, the, his, his arc starts now this season a uh, young black kid uh, vibrant how that stuff uh, you know what I'm saying but he gets bullied at school because he's the new kid he looks like he dropped up uh, dad's in the military brother's um, locked up uh, mom works a lot so, but guess who his brother is when he gets bullied at school by Daniel's son that freaking boy flipping Daniel's son I was like you serious bro Anthony the Russo what the heck? He's the like, only resource of bully now. I was like, he's a bully now. For sure. But yeah, Anthony's a bully now. He's got his little group of friends. He's annoying. He's, he's dipping nerdy friends. His friends are trash. Um, Because apparently they got this little beef over this girl. Because this girl seems to like Kenny. And sees Anthony as just a friend. Because Anthony's kind of like not putting any moves out there. He's just kind of just like being friendly with her, not actually trying to put himself out there. But she seems to gravitate towards Kenny. And Anthony does not like that. Anthony LaRusso does not like that. So that starts a basically beef throughout the whole season between them two. Um, so Kenny goes to see his brother in prison, his older brother. So now we know where his brother is. I thought he was dead the way they alluded to it. I thought he was dead. So he goes to his brother in prison because this guy's bullying me at school. What should I do? Guess who this guy's brother is? This guy's, this guy's older brother is the guy who bullied Robbie in prison, bro. That <laughs> I hate black guy, bro. I was like, oh, stop. This guy is, is the older brother of Kenny. And I was like, yo, that's some great storytelling right there. This is the way of bringing him back into the plot. And he goes, hey, I got someone you can talk to, bro. I, got, I, I know a guy. And his guy is Robbie. Robbie King. <laughs> ah, yes. You got Robbie trading up Kenny. Because obviously, at first, Kenny's kind of like a coward. Chris didn't want to train him. He's like, hey, go away. Because he kept um, Kyler, the flipping resident douchebag, the show. It's been, been like for all of the seasons of Cobra Kai. He thinks he's tight now because he knows a few. <laughs> Kyle type. Kyle is annoying, bro. Kyle is so damn annoying, but he's, he's needed in the show. But yeah, the resident bully of the show, bro. Uh, so Kyla kind of punches, no, no, Kenny punches Kyla in the face the second time he comes back. Uh, Robbie gives him a few pointers, cracks him in the face, and then Chris goes, hmm, -hmm you're a promise, kid. And uh, Terry kind of takes Kenny under his wing throughout the season as well, in a way, because he uses his speed. So, yeah, you got to use your speed. Because Robbie and Ky Kenny even does like a trial thing in where they're sparring. And Robbie kind of takes it easy on him, and Terry goes, hey, use it. Cracks him in the arm, sweeps Robbie on the floor, and then Kenny from there starts to increase his skills. He even sets up Anthony LaRusso at one point, get him in trouble, get him suspended. Um, gets him in trouble <laughs> and, and his friends and from then on Kenny's a straight savage because the tournament starts at this point the tournament's about to start but at the same time in between these tournaments stuff is just happening between these these groups these gangs <laughs> at this point they're gangs at this point bro they're karate gangs this is the warriors in teenage form but um yeah got Cobra Kai me, uh, like literally <laughs> Every time they meet each other, it's on site. You know what I'm <laughs> it's on site, especially Sam and Tori. It's on site. Tori literally, and literally Sam's mom rocks up to Tori's place of work and says, hey, leave my daughter alone. 
it's we're gonna have problems. And Tori, yeah, she gets fired at one job because of the mom. Um, she gets another job at this kid's party. Sam sees her, just rags on her the whole time. But then the mom slowly, um, cause a crease, uh, kind of tells the mom, hey, just lay off because she doesn't have a, a good, like a mom or anything like that or any good influences behind her. So I'll just give her a break. So the mom kind of feels sorry for her throughout the rest of the season. Sam's just, yeah, she ain't having it. She's not having it. So she starts to like go off the Yagi Do path and starts to follow Johnny. Go, so she likes the Eagle Fang way of doing it. The aggression strike first, you know, type of thing, you know? That Johnny's learnt from Crease. So she starts to kind of merges these two styles together, you know? So she's had, kind of had enough of Daniel just going with the flow, you know, type of thing, you know what I mean? Sammy kind of goes rogue this season, which I, which I love. I loved. She kind of that makes it take charge, kind of thing. I like this. This is the Sammy wanted to see throughout the whole season, but she's still annoying. She's still looking at Pippin, Robbie every time Miguel's with her. Like, what the heck? She's still going on that nonsense, bro. She's still relationship wise, she trash. She's still trash. Um, Miguel's kind of like throughout the season, it's kind of uh, thinking about his dad, what his dad looks like, what he's, what he's like, what he's about. He's, he's kind of thinking about his real dad at this point. But he still sees Johnny, obviously, as, as, as his father figure, which he is. Um, but <laughs> Johnny still has regrets about Robbie. And they kind of cons can, uh, reconcile at the end of the show. But um, tournament wise, let's get to the tournament. Let's get. We all almost forgot. Wait, don't let me forget about Stingray. My, my boy Stingray's back. Oh my god, Stingray. Stingray out here living with his sister in, in the flipping hills, bro. Looking, living a lavish life. He tries to go back to Cobra Kai. Creature was not having it. He said, Get lost. He tries to come back again. Terry just destroys him. <laughs> he just kicks his head in, bro. Oh, just, just wrecks him. He said, Doc, hey, you want to do anything? Yeah, for sure. Stomps him out. Um, and then um, two months about to happen now, yo, hey. It's Cobra Kai, Yagi Do versus Eagle Fang. So they have individual competitions as well and the team competition like, overall. Um, but um, the board of directors are funny as heck. The board of directors played their part in the show as well. They were funny as heck. They're literally all trying to overthrow the, 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 the board leader. They squabble like kids when they're trying to think of these new rules for this karate tournament. And I was dying. Uh, the announcer, he's funny as heck. Uh, so yeah, so everyone in this cast is playing their part to perfection. Everyone is turn up to 100 and I love it in this show um, but yeah the tournament goes on Kenny's putting in work Kenny's doing well Tori does well Kyle's doing well Rob is doing well like, the whole gang is doing well. they're doing good they're doing good Dimitri at one point almost takes out Robbie and I was like them go on Dimitri Dimitri still doubts himself a little bit but he's OP he's, he doubts himself way too much but he's coming he's coming he's coming up he's coming up Hawk he get, I forgot about Hawk. No, I was about to get to the good bit with Hawk, but I'm rushing Hawk way too much. Hawk I got humbled this season. I said before at the starting of the review, he's got humbled a little bit by uh, getting isolated from the rest of the group because of his past misdemeanors. He gets his Hawk sh shaved off by Robbie and his crew, by Cobra Kai. So then that kind of knocks his confidence. Um, he quickly sees Dimitri with his girl. And I'm saying the popular kid at school. Um, and towards, towards his his match, he gets hyped because that his original girlfriend is back, and he's like, "Yes, now for full power." So Hawk gets his confidence back towards the end in his tournament. But wait, wait, let's calm down first. Let's calm down first. Robbie takes out Kenny because Chris goes stop messing about this guy. Let's end him. Takes out Kenny, cracks him in the nose. Uh, Kenny's eliminated. Beats up Anthony, <laughs> Daniel's kid, in the in the locker room, wrecks him. But Robbie stops him. He goes, "Hey," but he's like, "Yeah, hey, hey, I'm about to get you, boy." Kenny's, it's gonna be about season of pain. I'm like, "Yo, Kenny's about to be savage," but yeah, Kenny's out. Tori, she's still in. Robbie's still in. Hawk's still in. Miguel still in, Sam still in. Okay. Uh, okay. So 
It's going down, it's going down. Because wait, oh also Johnny's got a great team as well, but got that girl, that debate girl, debate team girl, which was she was she was awesome. I love that girl. She reminds me of someone that I know as well. So I was like, oh yeah. That debate team girl was a savage. She got some good technique, but she wasn't ready, yo. She wasn't ready yet. For for Tori. Tori took her out. She held her own though, but she goes, hey, next year coming for you, bro. <laughs> coming for you, yes, that debate team girl, watch out for her, bro. But yeah, Tori takes her out. Um Miguel first hawk okay here we go Yagito first eagle fan the fight we always wanted to see in tournament combat let's go hawk versus diaz we get the fight it's even but miguel goes for the ultimate technique the tornado kick from the heavens he got the they went to epic flashback the cinematography in the scene was iconic spinning in the air going full supernatural mode cracks his back and i was like oh they made this scene the most dramatic scene. I thought this guy was finished. He was like, Sensei! Sensei! And I was like, oh, far. His back's gone again. I was like, far. Far. We girls out. He's finished. So then he's got, he's got half an hour break to finish his match with Hawk. Doesn't come back. Gone. Disappears. Into the, into the flipping void. Disappears. So everyone's looking for this guy. He's gone. So that's the end of Miguel for, for until the end. So we've got Hawk and Robbie now. Okay, so for sure. Got Hawk and Robbie, yo, for sure. Let's go. Deadlock. Points upon points. Deadlock. Sudden death. We got my boy Hawk. I was like, yes, go. Oh, this was the most hyped I've been aged. I was like, oh my day, this is the most hyped moment had like till whenever this is the most hype i went mad i ran around my house i was like let's go hawk was just like robbie threw his threw his oh, shot off bro. threw his gear off hawk threw his gear off flexing that back with the hawk i was like let's go this is the most hype i was like oh my god this was, this was epic this was slipping epic I can't, my words are not doing this justice robbie had him he didn't finish the job he felt he just didn't want to go by the Cobra Kai's way of doing things. He, he didn't like what they were doing, what they were saying. Hawk gets up. Rolling kick finishes this man. Hawk is the champion of All Valley, bro. He is the All Valley champion. Hawk is the All Valley champion. Yes, I said that right. Hawk is the All Valley champion. Let's go. My boy, Miguel Spirit is with us, yo. Let's go. Let's go. The power's been bestowed to Hawk now. Let's go. Hawk champion, Miguel champion. Let's go. So, that's done. Robbie's out. Robbie's lost. Tori. It's up to Tori, who's the women's champion. Tori versus Sam. This, this match was lit. Sam out here doing different techniques. It was iconic. Tori's like, hey, I want to win this match. Right. Chris is like, hey, you know what to do. Let go out there and win it yourself. There was a controversial scene where Sam punches Tori in the chest. She steps back, hits out of bounds. The referee's like, hey, out of bounds, out of bounds. But she hit her before that, so she technically gets a point, but she didn't. So it's 2 1 up to Tori at this point. <sighs> so then Tori gets to the last second, back kicks around the chest. And I was like, oh my days. That was the suspect. I was like, yo, they robbed Sam of points. Sam was distraught. She was. Inconsolable at this point. Sam was, Sam was, Sam was sad. Tori, women's champion. So we've got Hawk, men's champion, Tori, women's champion. So that's the end of the tournament. But then Tori sees Terry paying off the judge, the official. And then she was like, oh, fuck. So that was the end of that story, man. So Terry paid off the judge. Oh my gosh. Full American psych. He went full Christian Bale, bro. It's about to go. It's about to go down next season, bro. But anyways, we find out Miguel's going to see his dad. He's going to Mexico. So then Johnny goes, "Hey, I'm gonna go find him." So next season we've got a road trip to Mexico. We got we got our version of Japan. He's gonna go straight to Mexico. <laughs> we're gonna see where we're gonna go. Hey, I got I got a feeling right now. Cartel's about to show up. It's about to go. It's about to be lit. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's Miguel's storyline finished for now. For season next season, season five. Um, yeah. 
yes, they're celebrating. So that's what's the next bit. So we got so it ends with Rob. Okay, so Robbie gives a hug to Johnny at the end of the show. Um, and then we got Terry having a conversation with Chris. So then they have a conversation and, and basically. And I, I caught this as soon as Terry said he had a weakness. I always knew it was Johnny. I was like, yeah, Johnny's your weakness. We know this. Because I forgot to talk about this. Terry just bodied Johnny in the middle of this show as well. He, <laughs> he tried to step up to Terry. Terry was like, oh, wait. He just wrecked him. I was like, yo, that was... Terry fired him. He just wrecked him. Um, bodied him. So as we know, Terry beat up Stingray. So and I was like, my mum was like, hey. He's gonna press charges on Terry. But at the same time, Terry set up Crease for Stingray's <laughs> assault. So basically he goes, Hey, if you wanna be part of Cobra Kai, help me set up Crease. So I'm like, yo, so then Terry set up Crease. Crease is like, this ain't over, I'm coming for you. So then this story and that so that was a the ending was amazing. Perfect. Mwah, perfect. Terry's going full Christian Bale and I love it. American Psycho. Oh, things great. Mm -hmm. So yeah. We've got the American Psycho back, Terry Silver. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Hawk. All Valley Champion. Ter Tory. All Valley Champion. Let's go. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Even though it wasn't was a clean, like hey, Tory was doing well at But Sam made them techniques. Oh no man. Sam Sam was a problem this season. I was like, I loved it. Sam was a problem this season, fight wise. She was, she was, she was, she was, she was like full, just a Johnny Jr. I was tired. Sam this season was Johnny Jr. And Miguel was Daniel Jr. Which I was like, Daniel was LaRusso. Sam was Johnny. It was interesting to see. But yeah. I love this season. This season was perfect. 10 out of 10, 8 plus. So I'm going to say, put your comments in the comment section down below. I'm done. I'm about to go to sleep because people are behind me are sleeping. This is early morning right now. I need to go to work like literally soon. So I said, you know, let me just do it while I'm awake. At this point, I went to get this energy out. Because I have much more energy because people, if it was literally like early in the day, but it's the only time I could do it. But Cobra Kai, don't want to get it twisted. My words are not doing this show justice. It is perfect. 10 out of 10, A plus. This is pure hype and I loved it. The feels, the callbacks. Oh my gosh, no, 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 I have finished yet. Chosen showed up at the end of this show. Chosen and Daniel are gonna team up to take down Terry Silver. It's about to go down. Get ready, guys. The chosen one has returned. So, yeah, so Twitter, Instagram, as you can see down there, donate to the channel, Cash App, Legend of All 101 to the channel like share subscribe press the notification bell set to all settings and yeah wherever you are there and night stay safe by hearing these karate filled streets it's legend of all 101 signing out peace Cobra Kai never dies